has also many other advantages to all the mobile vehicles you can find on the market. And I will now just go closer into it and explain a little bit what he is actually able to do and what he is actually made for. Because with MAV, we are actually able to revolutionize the production lines. Because the production lines from today, they are like slow and also they are all chained to each other. So it means they cannot be separated. It means also if one part of the production line stops, everything has to stop. The same also with all the inspection and everything. This is why the most automotive companies actually have these two weeks in summer where they inspect the whole, uh, the whole production lines and also exchange already some parts. So this is why we made actually MEF and many other reasons because we will not just handle with this, uh, with this robot just parts logistically. No, we can also use it like in combination maybe with some other products which we will uh, show you later also. So, what is the payload? I think you saw already in the video, we have 1.5 tons of payload, which is actually, you can uh, put it here on a pallet. So there's some other additional tools you put there so he can pick up the pallets completely by themselves. Also, the speed is about two meters per second. That's actually fast for a mobile vehicle. Also about the dimension, we did it actually perfectly for a pallet size. So we have here about 1,530 lengths of the robot and also 910 of the bride of the robot. And it's amazing, we have it actually very flat. We have about 293 millimeters of the height of the whole vehicle. And there's everything already inside. So we have a very amazing battery system, a new battery technology, which you can actually use this robot here for 12 hours without having any breaks. And then charge the whole system within in just one or one and a half hours. It depends actually on the electricity you have in your company. The whole system has a weight, a own weight of 400 kilogram and actually has uh, a courtesy of positioning about five millimeter plus minus. And it's made actually mostly for indoor applications, so it's IP54. Good. The lifting units I already mentioned before, they're here in this four places, and together they can lift about 1.5 tons. And also special, I think, is the LEDs. I mean, it looks very nice, but it also has some function because they actually show the status of the vehicle. So um, there is also additional things integrated, which we say makes the whole system also cognitive. It means actually there is cameras on three sides of the robot to actually scan the environment, to interact in the 3D world, not just 2D worlds with the laser scanners, which are also integrated for the safety. So we do actually make like the very fast teaching with the 2D laser scanners. And the laser scanners are there to make this vehicle safe. So we have also a safe, um, a safe controller inside the system, but also additional cameras which scan the environment for interaction with the environment, also being controlled by gestures, also doing like maybe seeing some spots where it has to pick something. So this is actually also something which not all vehicles have right now, and that's why we integrated some to be smarter, to be advanced, not as the, uh, the situation right now. We have also, um, the system comes actually with a very user-friendly user interface. You can even teach it with your smartphone by just driving somewhere. So he will, uh, he will actually get the whole environment and then you can teach it. Also tell him this point there, go there and whatever. But also we have something to cooperate with many different kind of vehicles by fleet management we call. So it means you can have up to 
hundreds uh, of vehicles in one system and they are all cooperating with each other and also interacting with each other. So it means also they will, you can define priorities, you can define which one has the priority so it has to go there first and the other will just go by sight and wait. So now as we have seen something which is perfect for logistic reasons, something which can solve all your logistics problems also like all kind of production line problems. We have also something which solve even a little bit more problems. Something which you can use also in automotive manufacturing, also in many other, other businesses. You will see, I introduce you to a combination of MEF and LERA. So here you see actually a combination of AGV, like an autonomous mobile robot, and also with even two additional axes, which helps our LARA to get in all the position it needs. So it means now at this point, this robot can, can reach any point of the shelf which is there. Why did we do that? This is actually made to have some, like fully automation because until now we mostly see the cobots which also save you some space but what does what is the negative thing about it is actually that now we don't have enough space to put more components more tra more trails on it so it means for that we need something which brings them to it until now we have for sure humans but they are not cost effective in this moment so this is why we have to do something which enables this system to be fully autonomous. Something which can be able to work day, night, 24 seven, on Saturday and Sundays, it doesn't matter. And this is why we made this product. We made it to fulfill the automation, to, do, to finish something, like the completely. So it means, can you imagine, you have a robot which is actually taking parts putting them in trays out of the box, something with a camera. Maybe we'll see something later. And you see also, and then you have this robot system, which is, a, which is MEF and LERA, which gets this tray into this rack and picks them to your application and exchange the, the finished racks, um, finished <laughs> um, trays against the, <laughs> the not finished um, trays. So this is actually something which can help you all the time. The same you can also use it for something, maybe for the food industry, for the stores, something which fill up the stores while no humans are there, maybe at night. There's many, many kind of application. I think better is you just see it now, how she actually, ah, how Lara, yes, she is a she. <laughs> so I ha I'm sometimes a little confused, but Lara, how she can actually interact with this mobile vehicle and do a task which is maybe now important because I'm kind of thirsty. So now I have shown you something crazy or two combinations of two of our products, two autonomous products which we call MAF and LERA. In this moment she goes actually and prepares something for me but I we are not here actually to just have these two products. I told you we have three. I told you that we have something very special, something which is cognitive, the first cognitive robot on the market. And to introduce the product, I first would like to go even one step back and actually uh, first introduce you to the persons actually which made the product actually happen. This persons, which I'm the mostly proud of. This persons, which I'm super, super thankful for. So let me introduce you to all the persons. And oh, <laughs> so 
Thank you, Lara, but we see us afterwards.